Morning Spurs fans, it's Monday morning and time to reflect on an emotional weekend for everybody concerned with Spurs, with the sudden death of the Marine and then the emotional scenes at Brighton before and after the match on Saturday and we come out with a very well deserved 1-0 win and uh, showed what character we have in the team and that's good news going forward with a couple of matches coming up this week against uh, Eintracht Frankfurt and Everton. So all's good in the Spurs camp at the minute. We had a very good team performance on Saturday. Uh, some of the players really excelled themselves, and especially the, the midfielders and the defence and Matt Doherty, who uh, obviously reacted very well to uh, the, the, the criticisms Conte made about him during the week. But I'd just like to comment a bit about one of the, my pet hates in football, and uh, it's VAR. Now, don't get me wrong, VAR is an excellent system. It's the idiots that run it and work it every Saturday from Stockley Park that are the problem. We had a situation over the weekend when numerous matches were dictated or were determined by mistakes made by the VAR official, especially in the Arsenal-Liverpool game when the Arsenal defender Gabriel blatantly handled the ball, no penalty given, and then in the later on in that half, uh, the uh, Martinelli put in a far worse tackle on Trent Alexander-Arnold than um, our player Emerson Royale did the previous week. Our boy got sent off. The Arsenal player didn't even get the booking. So all we want is a bit of consistency in the game. Arsenal then went away and got a penalty when two players kicked out at the same ball, both connected, and for some reason it was a penalty. Softest penalty of the week. So it looks to me now as if Liverpool, Liverpool have lost their title. It's now Varsenal. Enough said. Anyway, we have got a very important game coming on Wednesday night against Eintracht Frankfurt. Now, I think we showed enough in the first leg that we're a better team than them. Uh, if we can have, have as much possession as we did away from home, we'll certainly have an awful lot more at home. I suspect Conte will revert back to the 3-4-3. Uh, I don't think he's going to play three central midfielders in a home game, and neither he should really against opposition like that, who we should be putting them away very comfortably. And then we've got Everton on Saturday, and Everton had gave, gave United a good game yesterday, but came up short, and that's what they'll do again on Saturday. I think we beat them 5-0 last season, and I can see a similar scoreline coming up at the weekend, because Spurs are flicking into gear, we are, gonna, we are going to keep the pressure. We are top three. We are title contenders. Contenders being the word, not winners. Contenders at the moment. And I'm hopeful that by this time next week, we are still sitting in third, possibly second. Maybe Man City might slip up. You never know. Um, I'm just waiting for the Arsenal self-implosion. Don't worry, it will come. They're not going to last. They're the flash in the pan. There's one every season. This season, it just happens to be our great rivals, Arsenal. And uh, they, they seem to... They seem to uh, think they've got the thing won already, which let them do that. that that'll make their fall back to earth um, an awful lot more painful for them and an awful lot more hilarious for us. So anyway, that's enough for today. I'll be back on tomorrow with a preview of the Eintracht Frankfurt game. And come on, you Spurs.